Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to share with you what I eat on a low-carb keto diet. And uh, yeah, let me start off the day with some coffee. All right, just some eggs for myself, and then uh, Jared's is staying warm in the pan. Still working on the coffee, and we are uh, trying to get ready for some lessons today. I have floundered on filming all of my cups of coffee today. I've had a total of three, but I think I only caught one on film. It's the way it goes. And I had scrambled eggs today for breakfast as well as half a slice of bacon. I think I showed you my eggs. I don't think I showed you the bacon because I'm pretty sure that I nibbled on that as I was cooking the eggs. Anyway, I am super hungry. It is 12.20 right now. Girls are currently having their lunch and watching a homeschooling kind of a video about plants. And um, yeah, I need to sort out some, some, <laughs> some lunch for myself. And I need some water. My throat feels a little parched. Alrighty, officially it is 1225. I am so hungry. So this is probably, why are we not focused camera? There we are. Okay, probably one eighth of a head of cabbage, sauteed, leftover, and taco skillet um, that was also left over. And I did a squeeze of homemade mayonnaise. I might grab some Cholula because this does not have a ton of spiciness to it and I do appreciate some spicy flavors and then some water so that is gonna be my lunch for now true story my lunch was ill-matched against my hunger <laughs> and it is now it's now 1.53, I'm still hungry, but we had to go through and finish up um, a few school lesson things, get the toddler down for a nap, and clean up the kitchen, clean up the floor, that kind of stuff. So currently I have a few minutes and I am going to make myself one of my single, I don't know if that's gonna show up on there, single serve cookies. Um, I have this mix that is a master mix. I have done a video on that actually. Um, but that is what I'm going to have this afternoon. Um, and you know what goes well with a single serve chocolate chip cookie? If you set a cup of coffee, you win. You would be right. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to actually drink a cup of coffee or not. I'm gonna make this, and as I make this, I will think it through. My lighting is terrible right here. It's amazing what shifting about 18 inches can do for you. And being able to stand up. Okay. Chocolate chip cookie is hanging out in that microwave right back there. And I'm gonna be honest, I just want a cup of coffee. And right now I'm into indulging my flesh. So I'm gonna have a cup of coffee with almond milk creamer. I feel like the almond milk creamer thing has really been a, a win for me. I have not gone back to heavy cream, which in the past I have made homemade almond milk creamers and I like them well enough, but I always wind up going back to heavy cream because it's just easier. Um, I think you can't see the chocolate chips because 
you can't see the chocolate chips because they all have been sunk to the bottom, but mmm, nummy. I think the almond milk creamer has been a big win in my life in the past whenever I have gone through and tried to remove the heavy cream or the half and half and just use like a homemade almond milk creamer or even a store-bought one. It doesn't really matter. Um, I do it for a little bit and it's fine and then I always wind up defaulting back to heavy whipping cream or half and half and not that those two are bad but I can get pretty out of hand with it if I'm not being mindful. I can also um, I can feel a difference in my vocal cords whenever I'm having a ton more dairy, especially in the heavy cream department. And so, um, I think, I think this whole almond milk creamer thing is sticking around for a while. I think using my Teamy Mix It has been a, I love you baby, has been a big piece to that because I can just whiz it up in that Mix It and I can store it in that bottle and, um, and not have any kind of like problems. I really like the way it pours out of that. And then also like if if I shake it and it doesn't really incorporate well again, I can just pop it back on the base and whiz it around um, for, you know, 20 seconds and it's back to like that creamy, frothy texture that I actually appreciate from it. So anywho, um, small win for sure and a total tangent <laughs> that I did not anticipate talking about. So. Anyway, I'm gonna go, let's, let's go brew a cup of coffee. We are feeling a little hungry, so we're gonna make some sriracha mayo. So homemade mayo, little squeeze of sriracha. Can you grab me those pork rinds over there, baby? We really prefer the Sam's Club pork rinds. Can I have one? You can have some. Well, bam. So we're gonna have some of these. Jared's home. So we're gonna share that. All right, so we are gonna go have dinner with our friends. I'm probably not going to film that because I don't wanna be weird, but um, when we get back, I will let you know what I had. Hey! It is the next day. <laughs> we had a really good time last night with our friends and I was exhausted by the end of the night. All of the girls were exhausted. So Jared and I, we put the girls to bed and kind of vegged out watching Big Brother. I don't know if y'all watch Big Brother, we like to watch Big Brother and it's probably just junk TV, but it is something you don't have to think about, which is fantastic. Anyway, that's what we did last night. So for dinner, our friends made a spaghetti squash kind of, um, it was like spaghetti squash with a meat and veggie sauce kind of a topping on it and then coated in cheese on the top. It was fantastic. There were some black beans in it, which um, I don't really have a problem with at all. They were they tasted fantastic in this dish, but the um, you know like the fiber to carb count, I feel like it's pretty all right. And I probably didn't have more than about a quarter of a cup of actual black beans themselves, so I felt pretty confident that the amount in there did not really mess me up much as far as you know like keto is concerned and then she our friend she also made a flourless chocolate cake and i did have some of that it was made with coconut sugar so that was for sure a little bit um high carb but it was a small slice and it kind of blessed my soul to be with our friends and enjoy what they put thought and effort into and it was a really good cake um it was it was fantastically delicious actually so i uh a little bit a little bit more carb heavy dinner than I normally would and I enjoyed it thoroughly and I think it was uh, nourishing my body so I'm good with that anyway that is what happened last night I didn't even have hot tea when we came home I didn't I didn't feel the need for that for some reason I think I was just too tired um, the girls they were outside most of the evening and so they were all worn out um, you know just from playing hard so it, uh, it it just was not on my radar to sit down and have a hot cup of tea. But anyway, I'm rambling. I really appreciate you watching this What I Eat in a Day video, and I hope to see you in my next one.